Tonight is March the 10th, 2017, and this will be a video, hopefully short and be worth something to you guys, amateur radio operators and otherwise, on these uh, RTL, SDR, software defined radio uh, devices that are very popular nowadays and very cheap. Uh, there is a very good uh, video already on YouTube that I recommend watching in, in, uh, in addition to mine. It's this gentleman right here. Uh, his is called Software Defined Radio Princes SDR RTL SDR. And he tells you how to set it all up, which is something I'm not going to go over, but I will add a few things to it that he didn't mention. And uh, hopefully for the uh, guys like me, the old timers, it'll, it'll be valuable. Okay, first of all, the most important thing is this is the first one I bought and this one I cannot make a work on HF it works great on VHF all the way up to a gigahertz pretty amazing little device but I could not make this one work on HF this one has a 28.8 .8 megahertz crystal in it now the one that I can make work is this one right here which is the one that he shows There's a lot of glare there let's see if I can get the glare off of it this one See, it has, uh, right here, is connected a 40-meter dipole, a legitimate 40-meter antenna, you know, with a very low SWR, works great, and it's the same one that he shows here in, in how to set up. Well, the things that I might add is for us dummies like me, first of all, when I got this thing and I hooked it up and I uh, installed it the way he said, I couldn't quite get it to turn on. It took me a good 20 minutes to figure out that the red light is what's supposed to be on, and the green light means that it's off. You know, it's the dumbest of things that can kick our butt the hardest sometimes. So I turned the green light, I turned it to where the green light was on. I said, well, green must be good, right? Well, no, it is, but it's off. I put the on and off uh, labels on there. So it's supposed to be red. <laughs> Little simple things like that. Um, basically, what makes this thing start working is this right here is changing this to minus 100 million minus 100 comma zero 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 comma zero 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 the reason it's not at 100 million right now is because I'm using uh, I'm using it to calibrate uh, what you do is you click on it you, you, you click right here I know it's sometimes kind of hard to see that little mouse right there. And then you can uh, scan it up and down a little bit so that you calibrate your little red line over here to the actual frequency that you're listening to. But you start out at 100 million, minus 100 million. SDR, uh, right over here, you, you, you set the uh, source to uh, RTL SDR USB. Anyway, like I say, it's explained in, in the other video, all, all of this detail. But I wanted to point out that... Uh, all of these devices don't re don't work the same, but uh, the one that uh, is uh, I just showed you does work, and it works extremely well. I'm really amazed. Let's listen to some a couple of stations. I'm on 40 meters right now. Yeah, well, I don't miss it uh, anymore either, and I don't miss it. That, this is your fine tuning. So I'm going down in frequency. Going up in frequency. Pretty amazing, isn't it? I mean, I'm a I'm a boat anchor guy. You know, I still use a Collins R390. I built my own amplifiers, built into a 1947 Collins Radio 30K1. Built my own antennas. Now I've made a quantum leap into the SDR world, and I like this. The reason I I wanted this is I wanted what's known as the pan adapter, which I call a spectrum analyzer. But that's what I wanted, that's why I did it. Now if you go up here into the upper left hand corner, right here, and you click on that, thing they call a hamburger, you get a full screen. This down here is called a waterfall, this is a spectrum analyzer. If you want to go back to where you can have some control, you click on the hamburger again, click. And then you can go down and uh, 
you can select lower sideband, upper sideband, whatever you want. Uh, if you if you set this thing, if you click on this thing right here, it says shift minus 100 million, you will not be able to receive the VHF stations uh, like uh, FM radio. You'll have to unshift it if you want to use it in, in VHF mode. But I just wanted it for HF mode. Let's see. There are a couple of uh, things that if you click on the darn thing, quits working all together. I can't remember which. Let's see if I can find it here. If you go down here to FFD display, see I've got both selected right now. If I select just uh, one here, I can select Spectrum Analyzer. See, then I just get one, and if I click on the hamburger again, you might like that. Maybe not. You might like both. So you just go back to right here, view. These are, these are simple things, but sometimes it's, it's nice to have somebody show us these things. Go back to full screen. Nice thing about the waterfall is it shows you a, a longer history. This is a pretty strong signal right there. It may not be anything. It may be something from a from your uh, uh, your Wi-Fi router. Who knows? Let's click on it and see. No, I think that's some uh, slow scan TV. I believe that's what that is. up to a stronger signal okay well you get the point this, this is your fine tuning right here now one of the things that will happen is if you click outside the band um, let's go back here see right now when we go back up here to radio uh, we see LSB lower sideband is selected but if you click outside of it it may well sometimes it'll change over to AM on you it's liable to do something weird. Well, there it is. See, it, it went over to AM. Because I guess it figures we're not receiving a um, an amateur radio station anymore. So you got to kind of watch it. So some you, you you'll have to actually go back to uh, this display fairly often. <clears throat> now let's tune it way down. Let's go down. And say let's look for WWV seven six five. Whoops, see there's zero. There we go. Got it on AM. There's some, something else coming in there, huh? Well, we can definitely hear it. WWV, but it sounds like there's some. Now that's pretty accurate, huh? Five megahertz down to the hertz. Let's see. Um, well, I think that's caused, that was kind of a warning that was put in here. Let's see. By the other good uh, gentleman that posted a video on it. We may have the RF gain up a little bit too high. Down here in frequency manager. No. Oh goodness, I don't know. I, I don't want to fumble here too long. Make the video. But um, yeah, that's, that's an AM radio station. Looks like kind of overload. Right here, R right up here, uh, where the little um, gear is. Lower the RF gain. Maybe that's too low. Maybe that's too high. Maybe we need to play around with some of the uh, RTL AGC tuner AGC. Oh yeah, by the way, when you click on something, it doesn't always happen instantly. Sometimes you have to wait two or three seconds. 
That's with a tuner AGC on. Sounds better with it off. RTL AGC. Well, anyway, there it is. It's pretty amazing. And uh, like I say, the only things that I had to add, and sometimes I need the dumbest of things to help me get through these things, is, is the on-off switch. And make sure you, you buy this one. And uh, not... Uh, wherever the other one is and not this one. Well, this one works. Well, I shouldn't say that this one works good at VHF But if you want an HF uh, Pan adapter this thing's amazing. I love it So I hope that helps uh, Can't believe that you know the old amateur radio station receiver is now replaced with this gizmo And a PC there you go. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps promote some of this SDR stuff. It's a lot of fun.